today we're today's the last lecture about strings. Today we'll discuss suffix trees. Suffix tree is really cool. The structure very powerful. You used to solve uh, all types of problems. Uh, usually, are uh, the same types of problems uh, used uh, when. Usually, it's the same types of problems uh, when you can use suffix array. So usually, you can use suffix array or suffix tree. Uh, they both have some advantage, some disadvantage, but mostly the field of problems is the same. Freeze it. It looks fine. No, 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 no. The channel looks fine, stream looks fine. No, maybe it's your problem. Cool. So what is a suffix tree? Suffix tree is basically a tree which contains all the suffixes of a given string. Okay, let me let me check. Let me check the quality of the stream just for the second. No, everything looks fine. No, maybe it's your problem. No, no, screen looks fine. Is there any problem? Hmm? So maybe 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 some your, your problem with the internet. Okay, okay. So what is a suffix tree? Suffix tree is basically a tree which contains all the suffixes of a given string. So we take some string. Let's take some string. Let's take a b b a a b a something like that. And now we just put all the suffixes in a tree. So we well again let, let, let's just create this tree. So start from the root. So this is the root of our tree. And we have h to the left is a, h to the right is b. Now let's just put all the suffixes. So we have suffix a. So let's mark this node. Now we have suffix b a. So we have b a. Now we have suffix a b a. So we have a b a. Uh, now we have suffix a a b a so a a b a here and also we have b a a b a b a a b a it's a little bit boring but it will end soon now we have b b a a b a b b a a, B, B, A, this one, and finally the full string A, B, B, A, B, A, okay. A, B, B, A, 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 B, A, here. Sounds like that. So that's just a try which contains all the suffixes of a given string. We just take this string and add all the suffixes to this try. We can also include the empty suffix. So we can say that the root is also eternal node. Uh, why this structure is important? Because let's see, let's see what we have in this try. So every vertex of the try is a prefix of some string which is in the try. So every vertex is a prefix of some suffix. Uh, what is a prefix of a suffix? Prefix of a suffix is just a substring. So if we take any node, let's take, for example, this node. So this node corresponds to string BAA. Yep. This string BAA is a prefix of, of this big suffix of this suffix. So we take this suffix, and from this suffix we take some prefix. So this prefix. So this prefix of a suffix will be a substring. So every node of this tree corresponds to some substring of a of your string. 
and vice versa. So if you take any substring of your text, it will be presented in this stripe. So for example, if you take, let's take some substring, for example. Uh, let's take substring BBA. So this substring BBA should be in this try. It is here. Again, that's because each substring is prefix of some suffix. So we have this suffix in the try. So this string is a prefix of this suffix, so it must be presented in this try. So every node of this try corresponds to some, to some substring, and every substring is represented by some node of, of this try. Okay, so basically it is, a tree, it is a tree which contains all the substrings of, a, of your text. So if you want to, to, to uh, calculate something about all the substrings of your text, you can just build this tray and then just uh, like investigate what's going on inside this tree and just by, by, by researching what's going on in, in these nodes, you will know what's going on with your substrings. Uh, for example, if you want to Again, if you solve, want to solve the same problem as we solved in the previous lecture, if you want to uh, find some substrings in the given text, so you have a substring search requests, uh, you're given some requests, like Q1, Q2, and so on. So each request is some substring. So you're given some substring PBA, and you want to find the substring in your text. You can do it using this try. So again, you take this subs, you, you take this string and try to find this string in your try. If you find the vertex corresponding to your to, to, to your string, it means that your string is actually occurred in in this text because this again this string is a prefix of some suffix, so it is a substring of your text. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. And the problem we'll solve today is how to build this try in linear time. So in the end, let's. Uh, I think uh, let's put it here. So the final result of today's lecture will be uh, the algorithm which builds this try in linear time. Nice. So let's go. So the first problem we need to solve is how to store this tree because this tree obviously uses n square memory, right? So the number of nodes in this tree is n square. Now, uh, so if we want to store this memory, this tree in the memory, we need to spend n square memory, and we can spend n square memory, and we, if we want to to build it in linear time, right? So the f f first thing we need to solve is how to, like, compress this tree uh, to make the size of this tree linear, and we will do it just by compressing the paths. So we will take the paths like this, and compress them in, into single edges. So what we'll do? We will allow, so if we have any node which has only one child, we will compress these nodes and make like from these three edges, we'll make a single edge which contains all these three letters. So we'll remove this and add a single edge like this and put A, B, A here. And we'll do the same trick with all, okay, we'll do the same trick with all nodes which are not non-terminal. So we'll, we'll leave all the terminal node uncompressed because we kind of need this information about terminal nodes. And we also leave the nodes which has at least two children. So all other nodes may be compressed. For example, here, well, here we have ABA, again, we'll remove this and add a single edge and put ABA here. Here we have BAA, BA. So we remove this, make a single edge, and put BAA, BA here. And finally, this again, we have BAA, BA. Okay, it's the same thing. It's the same. Suffix automatic, automatic is kind of the same thing, but from different angle of view. So you, I will not, I will explain the algorithm for, for, for suffix automaton. It's, it's, it's different, but it can be transformed one to, 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 to it can be transformed to, to each other using some tricks. It's not, not a topic for today's lecture. But if you want to explore the suffix automaton, it's also 
quite cool data structure. Nice. So we build this tree. Now the total number of edges in this tree is linear. So when, when we compress these uh, nodes, which, can, which has only one child, total number of edges here is linear. Well, why it is linear? Well, it's because we have only linear number of terminal nodes. Yeah? So the number of these terminal nodes is linear because each terminal node is a end of some suffix. right? And we have only n suffixes, so we have only n terminal nodes. And all other nodes has at least two children. So they can they kind of make from from one branch, they, they make two branches. So each of these uncompressed nodes uh, create a new branch in your tree. And the total number of branches in your tree can be more than n, since we only have uh, n leaves in your tree, in this tree. Yeah. So the, to the total size of this tree is kind of linear. But uh, now we have, instead of characters, we have these strings on edges. Yeah. So we want to also compress these strings. We can't, can't store these strings on each edge. Yeah. Because total, total length of all these strings, again, is n square. Yeah. But all these strings can be compressed, since all these strings are substrings of your string s. So we, instead of having this string, we can have only two indices of, of the string. So we need, to, we, we, need, we need to say which substring of s is written on this edge. So let's just enumerate all the characters here. Zero. Six. <coughs> and now instead of having this long string here, I, I, I can just say that this string is actually a substring from two to six. Yeah. So I can store only these two integers. Mm -hmm. And having these two integers is enough because this substring is a th this string is a substring of string S from this index to this index. Mm -hmm. And I'll do the same for all this for all the edges of this uh, tribe. So for example, here I have ABA, what is like for four to four to six, this is from two to six, uh, this one, I don't know, four to six again. This B, uh, any one will work, so let's say from two to two, for example. And this A is from one to one, and so on. And that's all we need. So now the size of the structure we want to construct is linear. We have this linear size tree. Uh, for each edge, we store these two integers. So we have up to n integers, to two n integers. So the total size of this structure is linear. So we kind of have chance to construct this in linear time, right? Nice. <laughs> now, uh, one small one small change I will make is uh, that uh, I kind of have these strange nodes. So for some nodes, uh, I don't compress them, but they don't. But they have only one child. So I, I didn't compress the nodes uh, if the node is terminal. So some terminal nodes has only one child. That's that's kind of not convenient. So you 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 for some nodes, a will be zero to zero. Might make sense. Okay. So I have I still have some nodes uncompressed which has only one child. So just to make things a little bit more easy, I will just uh, add a special character to the end of the line. So I will add special character again, some dollar sign here. So it will be some special character which is not in, in the string. Uh, and if you add this dollar character to the end of the string, then for all terminal nodes will end up with this dollar sign. So I will just add this dollar sign to all terminal nodes. So here I will have dollar sign. So this node will be terminal now. Here I will add dollar sign, here dollar sign, and here, and here, and 
and here. And also this node is not no longer terminal nodes, since I have this dollar sign here. So this node is terminal. And also the root is not terminal. Because I will add the dollar signs and this node will be terminal. Mm -hmm. So now I have two types of nodes. Uh, first type of node is this uh, the leaf node. Leaf is always a terminal node. Mm -hmm. So each leaf corresponds to some suffix of your string. And I have these uncompressed nodes. Uncompressed nodes are the nodes which has uh, at least two children. Mm -hmm. That's all. Cool. Now, uh, the next thing we need to build is suffix links. Again, like in accuracy algorithm. Now, now we need we need to make a suffix links like an ahokarastic algorithm. So again, let me remind you. So what's going on in ahokarastic algorithm? We have we have a node. Let's say node v. And for each node, we have this string corresponding to this node. So for every node, we need to make a suffix link. Suffix link is a link to another node. Such that this string is a suffix of, of my string. This is suffix link. Yeah. So for each node, we need to make a link to the longest suffix of my string, which is also in the track in the try. Mm -hmm. So if you, if you didn't see the Aho Classic lecture, it's kind of strange, but you may rewatch this lecture again. So suffix link again. So suffix link is a link to, to the node which corresponds to your longest suffix. Nice. In a suffix tree, uh, suffix link is actually a little bit more interesting. Since suffix tree contains all the substrings of the given string s, the length of this suffix link is always one character less than the string of, of, of this v. So, so if the length of this string is k, the length of that suffix link is always k minus 1. Let's see why it is why is it true? No, because our tree contains all the sub, all the substrings of the string S. So this string is a substring of string S. So we have string S. Somewhere in the string there is this substring. So suffix links goes to the longest suffix of this string, which is also in the try. But if we take this largest suffix, this largest suffix, which is just one character shorter than this string, it will also be in the try, because our try contains all the substrings of string S. So if this string is substring of string S, this string will also be substring of string S. So it will also be in this try. Yeah, yeah, that's a good direction. Yeah, we'll talk about it just, 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 just in a moment. Yeah, that's a good observation that some, 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 some of the vertices were compressed. So yeah, we'll talk about it. Yeah. This first observation. So, so suffix link, suffix link. In the suffix tree, always goes to the string which is just one character shorter. So, so basically, when you move uh, along the suffix link, you remove the first character of your current string. Uh, second cool observation: uh, we have this compressed tree, so we only have these nodes which has at least two children, uh, and we will build suffix link only for these uncompressed nodes. So we will we'll not build uh, the suffix link for all these middle nodes, which was removed when we uh, compressed these edges. We will only build suffix links for the uncompressed nodes. So for, for example, for this node. So, so for example, this node, let's take this node. This node corresponds to string AB. 
So the longest again the longest suffix is just string b. So so suffixing from here will go to this node. And if we take this node, we have string b a. So longest suffix will be yeah, will be a. So suffix go, will go here. Uh, from this suffix link goes to root. From this link goes to the root. For the root, there is no suffix link, like in Afro classical data. Mm -hmm. Second cool observation is if you take any uncompressed node and try to build the suffix link, the suffix link will also go to some uncompressed node. So if node, if this node V is uncompressed, then this suffix link goes to some uncompressed node. <laughs> yes, this, 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 this try is just oh, it's, it's just a try which contains all the suffixes. If you just take all the suffixes, put them in a try, you will get a suffix tree. But it will take you n square time. Yeah. So the, the, the problem today is how to how to build this tree in linear time instead of n square time. Yeah. If you just take all the suffixes, put them in a try, you will have a correct suffix tree. That's correct. But it, it, it takes n square time. Right. So let's see. Again, I claim that if this node V is uncompressed, then this suffix link node is also uncompressed. Why is this true? Well, let's see. Uh, so this node V is uncompressed. What does it mean? It means it has at least two children. Yeah. Let's say we have character X here and character Y here. Mm -hmm. What does it mean? It means that both these strings are presented in the string S as a substring. So we have the string S. At some point we have string V with, with character X. And somewhere we have the same string with the character Y. So both these substrings are somewhere in string S. Both this V plus X and V plus Y. Sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. But now, what, what about this suffix link? This suffix link is actually one, just this string, which is one character shorter. So this is a substring. This is a suffix link. Yeah. Which is to see that if you add this character X to this shorter string, you will have some substring of string S. And also, if you add this character Y, you will have some substring of string S. So this node must have at least two children, uh, child of character X and child of character Y. Mm -hmm. So if my node contains these two children, then this suffix link node also should contain these two children. So it also must be uncompressed. So if you, if you try to build suffix link from some uncompressed node, you will have a link to some uncompressed node. Mm -hmm. That, that, that's all the preparations we need. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the structure we need to build. Cool. Now let's go to what? Let's go to the algorithm. Uh, the algorithm will work like this. At every point of the algorithm will have some current position in the tree. So our position uh, will be either an uncompressed node or some virtual node. So it will. It may be a real node. So let's see. So, yeah. Let me just okay, let me just erase this suffix in by now. Just to make things a little bit clearer. So I'll erase everything which is not important. So I'll erase this, erase this. Okay. Just to have a clean picture of what's going on. Like this. So at every moment, you have some current position in your tree. 
current position will be like a, a node in the uncompressed tree. So when you compress the tree, your position may be a vertex of, of, of the tree, or it may be compressed into some middle position on the edge. So it may be the node of the tree, or it may be position in this edge. Mm -hmm. So for example, you, you may stand on this edge between this B and A. So this is your current position now. Yeah. So before you compress this edge, it was a real node in, in, the, in the tray. But when you compress the node, it became some position in the middle of this edge. So you want to remember your current position. So your current position may be a node, or it may be just position in, inside this edge. Mm -hmm. And so we have this current position and we want to move along this stream. So uh, we may move down or move using suffix links. What happens when, when we move down? So when we have some current position and we want to move down the tree using some character. So, so we have some current position. Okay, let's, let's do it here. And you receive one, one, one more character and we need to move down using this character. What you do? Uh, if you are standing in the middle of the edge, then you just check that the next character is correct and just move along this edge to the next position. So when you are when standing here and you receive the character A, you just move to the next position here. Mm -hmm. If you are standing in this uncompressed node and you receive the character A, uh, you look at the children, uh, select the child which contains letter A, and move along this edge uh, one character. Yeah. So when you're standing here and you receive character A, you move to uh, this position. Yeah. So you select this edge because it contains letter A, and move along this edge one position to here. Again, again, if you if you're standing in the middle of the edge, you just move one position to the right along the same edge. If you're standing in the node, you need to select which edge to use. You select the edge which contains the given letter, and you move along this edge one position. Yeah. Good. So moving down, moving down the down the, the this try is pretty simple. Uh, much more interesting thing going on when you want to use a suffix link. For example, you're standing here, so you're standing in this position. For example, you're standing in this position, and you want to use the suffix link. So from this position, so you're standing here. Your current string is b a a b. Yeah. So my current string is b a a b. And I want to use the suffix link. So I want to move to string a a b. But I don't have suffix link for this position because this suffix, this position is compressed. So, so it, it is in the middle of the edge. I don't have suffix link for these compressed positions. So I need to make something much more interesting. So how to how to use suffix link when you're standing in the middle of the edge? You go to the closest to your parent to this node, closest in the tree, and now use suffix link from this position. So you take this node and use suffix link from here. So suffix link from here will go, will go to this node. And now from this suffix link, you need to move along the same string as here. So here you have string AB. So you go to this position and try to move using the same string AB like here. So you go from here down to the tree using the string AB. Yeah, let, let, let me put it so. So you're standing here. So first you move to your parent, then you suffix link, and then from here you move down using string AB. So if you move down using string BB, you will go to this position. Yeah? So this position will be your final destination. Mm -hmm. Let me write it here. So we have the edge. Yeah, let's, let's, let's make it shorter. 
So we have the edge, we have some string on this edge. And we have some path here, we have the suffix link here. We have this position. So let's say this is our current position. Let's say this string is alpha and this string is beta. Mm -hmm. So our current state is alpha, beta alpha like this. We want to go to suffix link from this position. So what we do, we remove the first character from here. I need more colors. So our suffix link will contain uh, the string beta with the removed first character plus the same string alpha. Yep. So this will be a suffix link. Yep. So how we do it? We go to string beta, we go to this node, use the suffix link, go to this string, yep. so go here. And now from this position, we go down using this string alpha. Uh, it may happen that uh, we have some short edge, so, so we, we may follow several edges here, actually. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. Because maybe this string alpha is long and these edges are short, so these edges contain some short strings. So we may, oops, oops, oops. So we may split this alpha into several strings. Now we just follow this path. So we take the first edge, take string alpha one, and then string, string alpha two. And then finally here we have string alpha three and we sort of finish in this position. Mm -hmm. What's the subject? Subject is substring. Okay, so that's how you use suffix, su suffix links in the middle positions. So again, 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 that's, that's the most important part of the whole algorithm, so I'll repeat it several times. Uh, what's going on when you want to use suffix link and you're standing in the middle of the edge? You go to your parent, use suffix link from there, and then apply the same string from this position. So you just go down until you find the corresponding position here. It may happen that the first edge is short. So this is the short edge. So you follow the first part of this string and then stop here. Then you apply the second part again. At some point, you will end up in, 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 in some edge. You may, you, you may end in, in the uncompressed node or you may un, end up in, in the some middle of the edge. Both will happen, but... Uh, good. Mm -hmm. That's all. That's all. That's how you use suffix links when you're standing in the middle of the edge. Isn't it slow? It is slow. It may be slow. So, so this transition from here to here is not. You you cannot do it in constant time. Mm -hmm. So this transition from here to here is kind of slow. Yeah. Again, yeah, you need to go here, then here, and then here. So it may be slow. Using suffix links in, 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 in suffix tree may take some time. Mm -hmm. Now, now the final, the important thing which actually make all this algorithm works is that if you do a sequence of operations, total time complexity of this sequence of operations will still be linear. So. So imagine, imagine you start from the root. So you start from the root of the tree and apply several operations. So you will start from root, then go some character down, then again, then again, then again, and then use suffix link. And then again, move down, 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 and then again, move, make suffix, use suffix link and so on. So if you apply, let's say, n operations,
then the total time complexity of all these operations will be linear. That's the most important part of this algorithm, actually. Everything else will be pretty easy. Why is it true? No? Because of, of amortization again. Let's say the amortized time of going from here to here is constant. Uh, again, how to calculate amortized time? We need to, we need to introduce some potential function. Yeah? Let's say that the potential function is the depth of the current node in edges. Let's say that should be minus the depth of C in edges. So it will be number of edges from the root to the current node. For example, you may add this edge or not, it doesn't matter actually, but if we plus, plus minus one. Uh, so, for example, the potential here will be free. So we have these three edges, so current potential function will be free. Yeah. Well, it's a little bit inconvenient to have negative potential function. In this case, it's actually fine, since this minus def can be, can't go to the minus infinity, it's it's at least it's, it's at least minus n, so it's fine. So we need to prove linear time complexity. Yeah? So it's 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 kind of okay to make negative potential function, uh, which doesn't go below minus n. Uh, you you may you may instead if if you doesn't like if you don't like the negative potential function, you may say it is n minus f of c, so it will be positive. Also possible. Now, let's see. What's going on with potential when we take, take, take these steps? So when we're going down the tree, mm. let me just raise this. Do I need this try anymore? Oh, I think I don't. Let me just raise some space here. We'll rebuild it later, but right now we don't need it. So, what's going on when you move down to G? So you have current position and you move down. So when you move down, your time complexity will be linear, right? It will be constant, yeah? And the change of potential We, so when you go down, you increase your current depth. Yeah. So it may. So the change of potential will be zero or minus one. Mm -hmm. So in both cases, the amortized time will be constant. Mm -hmm. Now, when you use suffix link. Yes, suffix link. When you suffix link, what you do, you go here, then go here, and then apply these steps down. So let's say you have uh, mm, which letter we didn't use. Let's say we apply x steps down. So time complexity will be like one plus x, yeah. So we make some constant number of operations here plus x steps here. What will happen with potential function? No, let's see. Uh, what will happen with potential function when we move from here to here? Let's compare these two depths. So the depth of this node and the depth of this node. What will happen? Any ideas? Can the depth increase when we go from here to here? Okay, uh, 
What do we need to prove? Let's let, let's start from this point. Uh, this is decreases by one. Yeah. Decreases by one. Uh, yes. Uh, we need to prove that the depth is not decreasing too much because when we decrease the depth, we actually increase the potential, and we don't want to increase the potential. Yeah. So we need to prove that the depth of this node. Again, let's say the depth of this node is. Uh, let's say uh, let's introduce more variables here. Let's say if we have k edges here, then we have at least k minus one edges here. Mm -hmm. That's what we need to prove. Uh, it's it's actually quite easy to prove. So let's look at this path. So we have this path, and this path will have these middle nodes. Let's look what happens when we take a suffix thing from this middle node. So suffix thing of, of, of this middle node will go to some nodes in this path. So if you take any, again, these nodes are some prefixes of this string. So their suffix links must go to some prefixes of this string. So the suffix link from all these nodes must go somewhere here. Mm -hmm. So if we have some edges here, we have some middle nodes. These middle nodes have suffix links, and this suffix link should point to some, some, some nodes in this path. So the number of middle nodes here must be the same as the number of middle nodes here. Why is it minus 1? Can you see it? I actually wrote k minus 1, but I just proved that it is at least k. It may, it may be more than k. Yeah, you may have mo more middle nodes. You may have some middle nodes here. That's quite possible. But because this string is shorter, so you may you may don't have this uh, uh, like mi middle nodes because you, you don't have these branches here. But you may have additional branches here because this string is shorter. So when you have shorter string, you may have some additional branches here. Yeah? Yes, one of the suffix going to rule here, right? So actually, the top suffix here will point to the root here. Yeah. So it's actually k minus one. Mm -hmm. So we have k edges here. So we have k minus one uh, nodes in this path. Top node have suffix linked to the root. All all other nodes have suffix linked to some uh, nodes in this path. So total number of nodes here will be at least k minus two. So total number of edges will be at least k minus one. Yeah. Right. Now, let's see. So what's going on with the potential function? So the potential function will change no more than... So again, when you move from here to here, you increase the potential by one. Yeah. So potential is minus depth. So depth is decreasing. So potential is increasing by one. So it will be one. And then you make these x steps here. So each step decrease your potential function because you increase the depth or you decrease the potential function. So it will be uh, one minus x, right? So again, just add these two values so the amortized time will be constant. Mm -hmm. well, if you think about it, the idea is pretty much the same as in the Ahokarachi algorithm. So we, when you use suffix link, you kind of uh, remove the characters from the left of your string. So you have your current string, when you use suffix link, you remove characters from the left position of your string. You cannot do it uh, long enough. So every time you do it, you kind of kind of move deeper in the tree. So you cannot do it uh, more than linear time. That's all. Okay, th this is the most important part of the algorithm. Everything else will be easier. Okay. Again, I I'll repeat it once again. So what we'll do in our algorithm, we'll have some current node. We'll start in the root. So this will be, this will be the current node. From this current node, we'll make some steps. We'll make up to n steps, maybe 2n, doesn't matter. So we'll make some linear number of steps. Each step will be either going down in the tree or use suffix link. And we'll make linear number of steps. If we make linear number of steps, total time complexity will be linear. Uh -huh. Because if we use this potential, then the amortized time of both separation is linear. Mm -hmm. 
That's all. Yeah, a little bit more tricky than Nahok Rising, but still pretty easy. Mm -hmm. Nice. Now let's move to the algorithm. Now let's move to the algorithm. Finally. The algorithm is actually pretty simple. What we'll try to do, we will start with the empty tray. So first we'll have empty tray. This. And now I will add letters of my string one by one. So I go from left to right and try to add the string. So now I have a suffix tree for an empty string. So if I have empty string, this is a suffix tree for an empty string. And now I will have, I will add these letters one by one from left to right. So first let's add letter A. So when you add letter A, you have your root. You need to have a edge from this root of letter A. That's all. Now, for the string A, you have two suffixes, empty suffix and suffix A. So you have like two positions, this position and this position. So these positions are the end, uh, the end points of your current suffixes. Mm -hmm. Now, what will happen if I add the next letter? So I add the next letter B. When you add the letter to your string, you need to add this letter to all suffixes of your string. So I need to take both these positions and add letter B to both these positions. So I add letter B here. It's easy, it's just B, A, B. And I add letter B here. So it will be here. And now I have these three positions. So these three positions represents all the suffixes of my string AB. Yeah? I have suffix AB, B and empty suffix. Now again, I will add one more character here. So I add character B. What I need to do, I need to add this character B to all suffixes of, of my current string. So I need to add B here, here and here. Mm -hmm. So I add B here, it's easy, just, just like this. I add B here, it's easy. And finally, I need to add B here. When I add B to this position, this end will move to the middle of this edge. Yeah. So now I have uh, this position also. Okay, can you see it? So again, now I have string ABB. String ABB has four suffixes, right? So I have suffix ABB, suffix BB, suffix B, it's right here in the middle of this edge, and empty suffix. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, now the interesting part is going on. So, so now, now we need to make something more interesting. So what, what happens when we add letter A? Well, here is simple, we add A, we add A. Now, what about this position? So from this position, we need to add character A. We don't have character A, we have B. So we need to split this edge into two separate edges. We need to have one extra node here, put B here and B A E. So our current position now is here. And now our current position is a real node, so we add one more edge from this position with character A. So, so again, we split this edge, so our current position is a real node. And add character A to this real node. So we go here, A. So it moves here. Mm -hmm. So we added A here, added A here, and added here, A to this position. Mm -hmm. Now we just need to add A to this root. So for A, when we add A to this root, we will go to this position. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the whole scheme, so, so that's, that's how it's working. We have our current string uh, and we have some positions where we have the endings of our current suffixes. When we add one more character, we need to extend all the suffixes with, the, with this one character. And we just add this character to all the positions. Mm -hmm. It's clear enough. 
I'm not sure. No, wait, let's add one more. Let's add one more character A. So let's add character A. So again, what we do? We just add character A to all these positions. So we add character A to this position. It's easy. Here. Add A to here. Add A here. And we need to add A to this position. When we, when we want to add A to this position, again, we need to make a branch. Because here we have character B, and we must add character A. So again, we need to split this edge into two edges. So it will be A and B, B, A. And now from this new node, we make an extra branch here, letter A. And finally, from the root, we need to add character A, so we move to this page. And so on. Yeah, no, no, that, that's, that's, that's not algorithm. Yeah, yeah, that, that's just this, the whole idea of the algorithm. Now we just need to do this thing first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. now. now, let's see what's going on. I will do exactly this thing. I will add the new character from the longest suffixes to the shortest suffix. So what is going on? So on each phase, I will add some new character to my string. I will uh, go from the longest suffix to the shortest suffix. and try to add this new character to all these positions. So I will just extend all these positions with the new character of my string. Yep. So I, go, I will go from the longest suffix to the shortest suffix. So in the, in the end they have the, yeah. In the end they have the root and try to extend all these positions with my new character. Now, let's split this into three stages. Okay, first stage is simple. When you have a leaf node, so, so we just have, if this current suffix ends in the leaf node, like here, so, so here, here the suffix ends in, in, this, in the leaf node. What you need to do when you add one special character to a leaf node? You just have this string here. Yeah. And when you add a new character, you just extend this edge by one character. So you add this new character to your, let's add character, let's say A. Yeah? So you add character A in the end of this string. Mm -hmm. And that's true for all leaf nodes. So if your current suffix ends in the leaf node, you just need to add one more character to the string corresponding to this edge. Yeah? So you just take this string and extend it one more character here. And it's so good. All leaves. So let's let's see. Leaves. Now we'll have the second stage. Uh, now, let's take the first first uh, position, which is not a leaf. It may be either the uh, node of your tree or some middle position in the top. So you may have position, like it may be a real node or, or it may be some compressed node in the middle of the edge. It doesn't matter. What's, 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 what's matter? It, it is not a leaf. So your current position is not a leaf. Now, second stage is a stage when you, you, you don't have a transition with character A. So there are some transitions, but there is no transition with letter A. So you must create a new transition in your tree. Let's find it here. No transition uh, with uh, new letter. Mm. Mm. 
Oh, by, by the way, let, let, let's stop it here. Let, let's, let's stop here. Uh, let's notice that if we go from longest suffix to shortest suffix, if we find the first suffix which is not a leaf, all other suffixes will also will not be leaves. Mm -hmm. So if this position is not a leaf, then all these positions are also not leaves. Is it obvious or not? Well, because of the same reasons. Because if you have transition of letter X here, then for all for all other suffixes, you have transition of letter X. Mm -hmm. Again, because when you move along suffix link, you, you remove the first character of your string. Mm -hmm. If you have this substring in your text, you also have this substring in your text. So if you have here, you have transition of X, then in the shorter string, you also must have this transition of X. So, so when you go from longest suffixes to shortest suffix, then first you have some leaves and then you have some non leaves. Mm -hmm. So the second stage is stage when you have non leaves, but you don't have transition with X with its character A. So what you need to do here, you need to make the transition with A. So here you make a new transition with letter A here. And finally, the first stage is when you have transition with A. Uh, uh, has transition. Transition uh, with, with letter A. So when you have transition letter A, you just move along this, this edge. So you have this A. So you just move from here to here. Mm -hmm. That's all. That's all. Yeah. Now you may see that we actually do something interesting only in the second phase. Only second phase is interesting. In the stage, in the third stage, we don't do anything actually. We, we just follow follow these edges, do the same thing for all these short, short, short suffixes. For these long suffixes, we just add one more letter to each to, 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 to each leaf. We can just again, again let, let's start from left to right. Let's take the first thing. How can we do it first? Well, what happens to, to, to the leaf node? If you take any leaf node, then in each stage it's just increased by one character. Yeah? So, so, so if you have some suffix which ends in the leaf node, you, on, on, when you add each new character, you just extend this leaf by one character and so on. So let's just add all the characters when, you, when we create a leaf. Because the leaf will, will always stay the leaf. If you have some leaf node, then in each stage it will be just increased by one character and still be the leaf node. So let's just add all the characters to the leaf nodes when we create this leaf. Not just one character, but all the characters up to the end of the string. This will eliminate the first phase. So we will add these characters to the end of the leaf nodes just when we create this leaf node. Immediately, when you create leaf nodes, add all the characters and let them stay there. So we don't need to do anything interesting in the first phase. In the third phase, we actually don't do anything. We just follow these links, go from here to here. So let's do only the second phase because it's only interesting. So what we'll do? We will have one, again, we will have one current position. Current position will be this position. So this will be the current position of our algorithm. So again, we only need this single position in the whole algorithm. So this position will be the position of the longest suffix, which is not a leaf. So let me write it here. Yeah. 
active. We will only remember this position. Now, how we will add this letter A to our tree? We will take the current position, add letter A, then move along the suffix link. Add letter A, move along suffix link. If we have letter A, then we will stop our current phase here. Mm -hmm. Because what happens if you uh, make uh, if you if if you didn't have the uh, transition of letter A, then you create this transition, and now you are in the leaf node. Because when you create this transition, you have a leaf node here. So this position moves to the first stage. So you add this letter, and now you can skip this uh, suffix for all for all next stages. So you so you add this letter A, add all the letters up to the end of the string, and then move to the next suffix. Then again, you add this uh, character, add all the characters up to the end of the string, and move to the next character suffix. If at some point you have this letter, you have this transition, then you just follow this transition, and this will be the start of the of the new stage. So this will be the first suffix which is not a leaf because all these suffixes are leaves, all these suffixes are leaves, so this will be the first suffix which is not a leaf. Mm -hmm. That's all. Uh, actually it's a little bit more complicated because uh, these positions may be uh, in the middle of the edge, right? So this position may be in the middle of the edge. So at some point you need to split the edge and introduce a new node in the middle of the edge. Uh, and when you introduce a new node in the middle of the edge, you need to create a suffix link because you don't have the suffix link. Yeah, you, you just created this node. So you need to. So you, you actually don't need. You, you don't have this suffix link. Unfortunately, so you don't have this suffix link because you just created this node. So you 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 need to do all this thing. You need to go to, the, to, to your parent, use suffix link from there, oops, 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 oops. then move down. So actually all, all, follow all this, all, all this path. You go here, here, then go down until you find this position. But again, this transition from here to here is not constant time. But amortized, amortized time will be constant. We just we just prove this. Yeah. So so when you created a new node, you must follow all these steps to find the next suffix, and then make a suffix link from here to here. So when you follow all these steps, you know the next suffix. So you create a suffix link from here to here. Mm -hmm. That's all. That's the whole Ukrainian algorithm, actually. Now, what will be time complexity? Again, time complexity. We only make operations in the second stage. Yeah? So we only make operations in the second stage. What will be the total number of operations in the second stage? Uh, in, in second stage, we always create a new edge in the try. And since in the end we have a linear number of edges in the, in the try, we only have at, at, at most linear number of operations in the second stage. Mm -hmm. Because okay, again, in this stage we increase the size of the try. Total size of the try will be linear. So we only make the linear number of operations here. And again, these operations are just we, we follow these suffix things or we go down using this uh, letter here. So total number of operations like this will be linear. So the amortized time of the, of the whole algorithm will be linear. We also need to make suffix link for the red leaf. You may create a suffix link for the leaves as well. Usually you don't need suffix links for the, for the leaves, but you can do it. Yeah. If you if you want to create suffix link for leaves, it's also possible. You just yes, you, you just follow this. You just, you just remember the previous leaf and make suffix link for, from from this leaf to the next leaf. Yes, you can do it, but usually you, you don't need suffix links for leaves. You, you you may build them, just to be sure. But yeah, the, the, then you don't need suffix links for leaves in, in this algorithm since you only use the suffix for your parent and your parent is not leaf. 
So you never use suffix link for leaves, but you can build them if you want to. Yeah. No. Oh. That's pretty fast. That, that, that's the whole algorithm. Let's just let's just run this algorithm in this string just to make sure everything is. So again, we start from the from from from, from a single node. So this will be our current node. So this is C. And then we add letters from left to right. So first we try to add the first letter here, A. So we start from this first letter and try to add it to, to, to the rear. We see we, we have no transition of A. So we need to introduce new edge. We create new edge, we will have a new leaf. Yeah? So when we create new leaf, we add all the letters, not only one letter, but all the letters up to the end of the string. So we create a new edge and add all the letters from A, B, B, A, B, A, dot. So we added the first letter A. Okay, yes, I, I, I missed this part. It's, it's, yeah. Okay, let's, let's fix this. Um, in this part, I, 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 I just use the suffix things from my parent. It may happen that your parent is, a, is actually a root, and you don't have suffix things for the root. So when your parent is actually a, a, a root, it's kind of little, it's little bit different. So if you're standing here and your parent is root, so you have this string alpha here. So when you move, when you want to use suffix link from this current position and your parent is root, you actually don't need to follow suffix link from the parent. You just take the root and then start from the root, use the alpha with first character removed. So just remove the first character from string alpha and use this string to follow the path from the root. Yeah. Since, since you don't have this. Let me check this. So, so we have all these parts. So you follow these parts to your current position. So yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. A, B, B, A, okay, my bad. A, B, B, A, A, B, A, dollar. Yeah. Okay, so move to the next suffix. Ah, oh, 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 no, I mean, yeah, it was the final suffix. So we had the final suffix. Uh, yeah, yes, yes, yes. And, and another tale is if you try to follow all these steps and you find the final suffix here and all suffixes uh, do not have this transition of A, so you don't have this third phase. So it may happen you, you end in the root and then in the root you don't have this transition of A, so you add transition of A and then you stop the current phase and don't follow this A. Yeah, exactly. Like, like 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 here. So we added this new new leaf and then stop in the same position. So it may it you, it, it may be that you don't have this first stage at all. Yeah. So you just stop when you finish the last transition and just stop in, in in the root node. Yeah. Now let's add the second character. So, so we add the second character B. So try we're standing here. We try to add character B. So we don't have transition. So we add new transition. So we'll have a new leaf here. And again, we add all the characters, not only one, but all of them. Let's be B, B, A, A, B, A, O. Now next, we add character B. So again, this is our current position. We need to add character B. So we see, we only, we, we, we have transition character B. We can, we have transition here with character B. So we just move our current position from here to here. So this will be the current position. That's all. So again, our current position is in the middle of the edge. That's fine. Now we need to add next character A. 
Again, we look at our current position. We need to add a character A here. We don't have transition with A because this character is B. So we need to create a new transition with A. So we, we need to create it from here. To create from here, we need to split this edge into two cups. Let's say B and this. And now create a transition from here. So from here, we create a new edge and add all this A, A, B, A dollar to this position. Now from here, we need to use suffix link. Mm -hmm. So we go to the parent, use suffix link since this parent is a root. So we just follow from the parent suffix. So, so our suffix link will be go, will go to, to the root. So create this suffix link. And again, this will be the current position. No, 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 not this. So follow this suffix link, then, yeah, we need to add character A. Then we need to add character A to, to, to this position. So we have, yes, we have transition with A, so this will be the current position, yeah. Mm -hmm. So again, we was here, we added this new edge, follow the suffix link, create the suffix link, actually, yeah. So follow all this process to find the suffix link, then create the suffix link, and then from this position we follow the character A. So this will be the end. And so on. Well, let's, add, let's add a few more characters. So now we need to add A. So here we don't have transition with A, so we split this edge. Again, here will be A. We're standing here, create transition with A, B, A dollar. Uh, go from here using suffix link, here, go here, create the suffix link. Now from here we add character A, so we go here again. So this will be the current position. Again, let, 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 let's finish this. So we have character B, we need to from here add character B. We have transition by character B, so we just move along this transition, go here. Now we need to add character A. We don't have transition character A, so we split this edge again. And add this new edge with a dollar. Now from here we need to, yeah, finally, from here we need to use suffix link. Yeah. So from here I need to use a suffix link. So how I do it? I go to my parent, use suffix link, and then move along the same character B. So I from I go here, suffix link, then add character B. So this will be the position for my suffix link. So I add suffix link from my new node to this node. And now continue from this node. I need to add A to this node. I have transition by A, so this will be the new node. Mm-hmm. Well, that's all. Finally, you need to add this dollar sign in the end. So you just, again, you split this, uh, you split this edge in two, make this dollar. Now, from, from this position, you need to use a suffix link. So again, you go to your parent, suffix link, then the same line here. So this will be a suffix link. Uh -huh. From here, you need to add dollar sign, so you add this dollar sign here. Use suffix link, go here, add dollar sign. Use suffix link, make suffix link, and in, in, in the root. Yeah, that, that's, that, that's all I'm called the Ukrainian algorithm, yeah. It actually kind of the same as Macrate algorithm invented a few years before, but it's a little bit easier to understand what's going on here. Uh, so this algorithm is linear if you have a linear, uh, if you have a constant number of characters in your alphabet. It's actually possible to build suffix tree even if you don't have fixed alphabet. So if you have, uh, but you can't, uh, it's not, not, not true. If you're able to sort the letters of your text, in linear time, then you can build the suffix tree in linear time, kind of like this. 
But still, it's, if, you know, if you're allowed to use hash tables, you actually can use hash tables in all these nodes instead of arrays. So it's still, it's, it's, it, it, it will still be good. We don't need to sort anything in this algorithm, actually. So we only, we, the only thing we need about characters is to check which edge to use. If we have several edges, we need to select the, the edge which contains the given character. Yeah? So we need a hash map from character to the edge. That's all we need. So if, you, if, if you're allowed to use hash maps, it's actually fine. It will be linear. Mm -hmm. That's all. That's all. We may discuss some problems, actually. I usually want to leave these problems for the practice, but since I'm not really, uh, we missed a few practices, so maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe we can discuss some problems today. Uh, again, the first, the first problem you want, you may want to use the suffix trees. Actually, it's a substring search, quite common. So if you have a long text and you want to make a substring searches in this text. You might build a suffix tree and then just uh, search for your string in this tray. That's that's cool. Uh, uh, other important problems are when you need to calculate something about substrings. For example, you want to calculate the total number of different substrings in your text. You're, you're given the text and you want kind of to iterate on all possible substrings of your text. Then you build the suffix tree. And again, each node of the suffix tree is some substring of your text. Uh, but some nodes are compressed in, into these edges, but you know the length of this edge. So if you want to calculate some stat statistics about some number of different substrings, for example, you just take the length of the string and you know how many compressed nodes are inside this compressed edge, and so on. Uh, for example, it, uh, I kind of want to leave this problem for the practice, but OK, let's discuss it. Uh, what are common techniques about strings. Uh, one of the most common techniques is to find something about several strings. So usually you don't have one string, you have several strings and you want to calculate something in common for these strings. For example, you have two strings. Let's have two strings, uh, S and D. S and D. And you want to find, for example, the longest common substring. So you want a substring which is both in S and T. How you can do it using uh, suffix trees? Well, again, you can, the, the most common techniques when you have several different strings and you want to solve the problem using suffix tree is to concatenate all the strings into one string. So you just make this special character, take, make one big string then build the suffix tree from this long string and now analyze this big suffix tree. So if you look at the suffix tree for this concatenation, uh, the suffixes will be split into two different kind of types. So the first type of substrings is substring which starts in these positions. So there are sub suffixes like this and there are suffixes like this which starts in the in, in T. So these suffixes actually represent substrings of S and these suffixes represent suffixes of T. Mm -hmm. So now what you need to do is just to find the substring which belongs to both suffixes. So you want to find a, you want to find a node uh, which is a prefix of some blue suffix and the prefix of some red suffix. So you want to have some blue suffix in your subtree and some red suffix in your subtree. And again, this is this simple tree algorithm. Uh, basically, you, you can use all the techniques about trees we discussed in the previous semester again. Since it's just a tree, you can implement all the tree algorithms. You can use tree dynamics. You can use something like heavy light decompositions, binary listings, and so on. So it's just tree. You can implement all the tree algorithms for this tree. Yeah, you, you, or, or you can just run simple DFS. Usually, usually, usually that's enough, but not always. Uh, about implementation, it's not, it's not that, it, it's not that hard to implement. So th th this picture is actually all you need. 
the, again, the only special case is when you try to use suffix links, suffix link, but you're standing in the root. So, so you to try to go from here to here, go to your parent, try to use suffix link, but your, your, your parent is root, so you don't have suffix link. That's the only special case you need to uh, deal with. But again, if your parent is root, you just remove the first character and use the string without the first character. So it's just, the procedure is very simple. You're standing in some node and you want to go down using this string. So you're given some substring and you, do, you need to just follow this string from this position. So if your parent is not root, then you follow this subs, uh, follow suffix link. Now take your string and run this procedure from this point. If your parent is root, you just shorten your string by one and start the same procedure from the root. It's, it's like the only special case in this, in this whole problem. And so, uh, also, when you try to add this letter A, there may be two cases. You may be in the real node or you may be in the middle of the edge. So if you are in the real node, you just add this. Like, if you're in the middle of the edge, you need to split the edge into two edges. It's actually not the hardest algorithm to implement. It's tricky, but <coughs> not that painful as it looks to. Okay. <coughs> no, I, 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 it's it's really a fun thing to try to implement. When you try to implement it, you actually understand much more about how the thing works. So if you if you're interested, I highly recommend you to try to implement this at least once. It's not that difficult, but during this implementation, you'll understand something more about how this thing works and so on. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the small tricks I learned from my co colleagues was actually, if you want to avoid the situation, you can make a special note here with the suffix link. And try. add special edges from this fake node to the root using all the characters. Yeah, this will eliminate this problem, but it looks ugly, but it actually works. So when you go to the parent and your parent is root, then you follow this link to this fake node and start from this fake node, you try to add this string alpha. So when you follow the first edge, you will remove the first letter from your string alpha and then follow the whole string alpha about the first letter. This actually works. It's, it's, it looks ugly, but it's actually, yeah, it may remove a few special cases from your algorithm. Yeah. Okay, nice lecture. So.